From choice to alcohol, all the way to medical supplies, supply chain issues have touched many industries. And tonight, we are taking a closer look at how it's affecting our holiday shopping. What will Christmas look like? We spoke with local Christmas tree suppliers to see if there will be enough trees to go around. Twas the month before Christmas, when all through the state were tree farmers like the Caldwells, working to make the holiday great. And I will be making wreaths all the time for, for quite a while. But one challenge some did not expect, supply chain issues that pose a threat. Back in 2008 when there was a recession, a lot of Fraser fir far farmers were hit pretty hard. So there was a, a, you know, kind of a cutting back of the ones that were being planted. And that's kind of had a trickle effect. Fewer trees grown mean fewer to sell, but that's not the only challenge that has farmers unwell. The American Christmas Tree Association sums it up best with fire, drought, and heat waves affecting the Northwest. It's cut down their crops and that's not all. A supply chain overload means fewer artificial trees this fall and consumers will surely pay the price with higher costs that are anything but nice. Still, farmers say the season will be merry. Despite fewer traditional trees, other species aren't so scary. Just take it from Sharon Brissy with Hidden Trails Christmas Farm. All the local farms in the state of South Carolina have ample trees to choose from. You know, but if you're wanting that Fraser fur and you're wanting to go to South Carolina, you may or may not, you know, face a few challenges. So holiday shoppers, listen close and don't fret. The key this season, the earlier you shop, the more options you may get.